so welcome back guys today I, I'm just gonna do a little installation of the BMS which I mostly have over here uh, and I thought you guys might want to see this part only since my last video my last stream it took five hours to put together a battery pack like this one this is a 7s 12p battery pack it's already done I'm gonna give you some close-ups uh, so you get to see it's been nickel tab on the negative side it's been spot well um, the fuses and everything and I put some Capcom Capcom tech captain tape or whatever so this way you might be able to see what I did um, what else so just I'm just gonna do the installation of the BMS and also gonna give you a rundown tutorial on how to actually install the BMS let me just give you a close-up look over here and first of all thank you for coming by let me just remove the autofocus out of the way so this is my pack it's basically an eagle tab on the negative side so my negative side is being used as a bus bar most of you might do, I don't know, fusing on the positive, a boss bar on the middle, and then fusing on the negative. I don't do that. I just basically use the negative as a boss bar, and I'm also using it as the first part of the positives, uh, on the positive side. Since when you are installing a BMS, you have to install it on the positive end, you might as well just use this because it's connected so it doesn't matter how you do it as long as you are actually connecting I'm sorry for the airplane that is going on top of me right now this is like the rush hour for them and I'm right in the middle of the airport route so as I was saying I'm using the negative uh, as a bus bar and also as my main positive uh, connection for the BMS so let me give you a closer look okay if any of you speak other language that is not English I also speak Spanish so si quieren que hable español o tienen dudas o preguntas me avisan if you have any questions just let me know so I don't know if you actually can see the fusing over here let me see that's a fuse this is a the positive line this is the negative and it's connected to that nickel strip so that's basically what I do I lay down the batteries start connecting the BMS uh, the batteries with positive negative but all my negative they become the bus part you don't need to fuse the negative on the positive you just need the positive because you only need one one of the fuses to break um, so this is my pack it took me four hours to build it and put it together good evening hey how you doing sir um, it took me four hours yesterday it took me five hours but today since I only focus on doing this and not the life this one took around four hours I need to work on something that it's going to allow me to build one kilowatt hour batteries in less than an hour or two hours so anyway let's I already have everything I need and let me just get to uh, the installation part of the BMS I'm also gonna do a small tutorial this is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install a BMS the same principles let me just go back to my beautiful self come on focus on me there you go so the same principles uh, the applies to this specific BMS the 7s BMS is going to apply to a 3s a 10s or whatever s you're going to do so basically you are going to have a bunch of cables I kind of come out of this one this is a 7s 20 amps discharge and 20 amp charge which is it's kind of big for this pack because it's uh, 12s and normally you don't want to do more than 0.5 or 0.75 amps 
per cell on the parallel. So basically, you could, you could just do a smaller charger. But since I'm using a solar charge uh, controller for this, and this is going to be connected to another battery that I have over there, it's, it's going to be more than okay. So I, I buy this BMS on eBay. I have a link on the description if you want to get them. It costs around $6, $7. It's been really useful. I have some issues with two batteries on the last couple of weeks. Uh, some of the fuses were not connected. And instead of continuing charging the whole pack, it disconnected the whole battery. So the person called me and said, hey, this is not lasting me for the amount of hours supposed to. When I, when I took a look at it, some of the fuses were cut down. They were not connected. So this little thing actually did the work it's supposed to. So it didn't overcharge the cells that were actually connected and it also didn't over discharge the whole pack. So there's a, a link over there if you wanna get it. Uh, full disclosure, if you do, uh, I, I do get a small commission, affiliate commission, and that's how I'm able to pay my bills and help out the people in Puerto Rico. So. BMS, let me get you a closer look to the pack and how to do the installation, why does it matter and everything. And again, sorry for the airplanes that are on top of me. This is rush hour for me. So when you are connecting a BMS, you're basically going to have a bunch of cable like this. They are all flat. This is the only one that I took apart which is your main connection. This is your main positive. You're going to have a black one and this is your main negative. On well, my case, this is over here, this end right here, it's going to be my main positive and my main negative is underneath, underneath the... You, you cannot see it right now, but it's over here. Hey Eric, uh, thank you for your comment. Uh, you could do this if you do. Don't do not use fusing because these fuses are gonna break. Uh, if you're just gonna do it like an e-bike and not a power wall, just do this and nickel uh, use a spot waller to do all the nickel strips and stuff like that. It will be much better and faster also. Anyway, back to the connection. So you're gonna have your main positive, which is this one right here. Is your main negative one particular detail about BMS let me take this that your your leads or your main cables start apart so basically if your first one is gonna be your negative they're supposed to be like uh, properly identified on the package if not well you know <laughs> I don't know how to help you in that part but basically you're going to see something like this especially in this pack. I've been using this one for quite some time now. Uh, I already built like 20 something, 40 something packs and they all use the same BMS. And you're gonna have your negative and your positive, which means that this is going to be to your first, uh, to your main positive, but it's also known as the number seven road on the series. So when you start counting, on a BMS, the cables, you got your main negative, then you have one, then you, you have one over here, you got your second S, and three and four and five and all the way up to seven. Basically, it means that after you connect your main negative, your first positive is going to be also the positive side of your main negative. Probably does, this doesn't make sense right now, but once I start connecting the BMS, you, you're going to understand it. So, this two go to the same cell, which is just negative, positive. This is the positive of the second row, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, let me just start connecting. I was going to place my BMS over here, because it looks good. I need to make sure the cables are spread apart so that way I don't make a mistake uh, on when doing the connection so I know they're flat over here 
so that that's gonna help me out to do the connections and let me the first connection I'm gonna do it's the negative which is right here this is my main negative let me see if I can you see it no let me go a little bit lower okay here you go I'm trying to focus a little bit more okay okay basically there you go so this is my main negative it's already has some sort of uh, soldery thing why whatever over here and I'm just gonna measure out how do I want to apply it how do I want it to look Remember, this is for me. It's very important the uh, the looks because you know you're not gonna build like a, a crappy, ugly battery. So basically, after you measure the distance, just come over here, right, and you start connecting just like that. This is one of the best tools I've ever seen in my life. Let me just go back a little bit. So you see whole pictures so okay there you go that's better this is the best tool i have over here one of the best so basically you come over here and this is how you start doing it just this is the way i do it you don't have to do it like this but it it, it, it kind of helps you know to start with the negative because it's the you know it's one of the easiest one and every cable next to it that's how you're going to connect it and we're gonna take some my thingy over here and just gonna connect it yeah it's that easy the only problem is that once you're going to do the main negative cable, which is a thick cable like this one, but only black, uh, you have to be careful not to disconnect your uh, leak cable on the BMS. But for now, I'm just going to do this. I know for sure this one right here is going to be my one. This is going to be the first cable on the positives. So I know this one is my number two. So if I take my cables, as I told you, the one right next to the negative is number one. The other one's the number two. So basically, for me to install that cable, I'm going to take the number two because I just want to do this the top side first. Measure up. Cut it out. And just do this. If you have any question, hey Matt, what's up, Victor? If you guys have any question, just let me know. Stop me. Because I'm not trying to do a two hours video or just this is a quick one. <laughs> Yesterday I, I think I it, the whole video lasted for five and a, five and a half hours. And also I'm doing live for now because it's actually helping me with the YouTube partnership program as you may know I'm not a partner and by doing the lives I'm ranking up the hours that I need so I got my main negative my number one is gonna be over here this is my number two this one's gonna be number three so this one's gonna be number four so basically I'm just gonna look this is number one number two number three just gonna have it over here and I got number four and just like that BMS are one of the easiest part of building a battery it's just one of those things that are really easy to do really fast and also just to let you know if you have a 7s battery but you own a 10s 
uh, BMS. You can actually use it with a 7S. I'm going to do a video about it in the future, but just to let you know that if you have one BMS that is laying around and it's bigger than the battery that you're going to do, you can actually use it. It works, believe me, I've done that before. And also mistakes are prone to happen, especially with me since I'm so tired most of the time by working so much. Uh, on this pack for the people that are still without power in Puerto Rico. So if you guys feel like helping, there's a link right on the screen. Uh, we use that money to help the people in Puerto Rico that are still without power. So you got main negative, number one over here, number two, number three, number four, number five is right here. And this is number six, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. And my main positive is on the other side. So it's going to look like this. This is the number five. This is number six. Today's like super hot in Puerto Rico. It's like, oh my God. There you go. Almost done with this side. I'm just going to flip over the whole pack. Connect the other side. Connect the main and probably be done. Okay. There you go. As you can see, everything is connected. I'm just going to flip over the battery. And now I'm just going to make sure that the cables that I have, the, they are oriented in the way that I need them. So let me just um, do it like this. Okay, so basically my number one cable is this one. Sorry that I'm not right in, in, in the middle of the shot. But this is my number one cable which is going to be like that and just gonna cut then so I'll be faster number two this is the, my number three cable it's gonna be somewhere like there this is my number five which is just gonna be like that and my main cable I'm you don't see it, but I'm just going to do it over here, out of camera. So that way I'm ready forward, faster. Okay, now let's get, let's start making this connections over here. So just a small recap. I got my main uh, negative over here, right? This is going to be my number one cell, which I already have the cable over here. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, which is on the other side. So now that I, oh, I have air all of them are cut down to size. Let me just start removing. Guys, if, if you buy one of these, you're going to remember me. This is the best tool you could ever get in the, of all the tools that you might get. You need this one. It's a time saver. Okay. I'm just removing some of the insulation. Let me just get this ready. Okay. Number one is down and connected, which is good. We are getting ready with number three, which is right here. Let me just 
So if you guys have any questions, let me know. We're just installing a BMS. It's gonna be a quick, a quick video. And I'm basically halfway down the installation. The video is gonna remain on YouTube for the sole purpose of all of learning. You guys learn, I learn, everybody learns, we all learn. Okay, if you guys have any question, let me know. I will stop the video. Uh, I will stop whatever I'm doing and help you out in any way possible. The BMS that I'm using, it's a 20 amp discharge and 20 amp charge. It helps to keep the batteries balanced. It doesn't have a balancer. Let me let me clarify that. It helps the battery to remain balanced, but it doesn't have a balancer. Basically, the difference is that a balancer, it kind of burns the energy on the cells. So that way it keeps them balanced. So now I'm done with the other connectors and I'm going to do my lead positive which it's kind of messy over here let me just okay there you go also I'm going to do a live stream today it's going to be only in Spanish it's for the people in Puerto Rico because I got a news hey Jeremy God bless you man I heard the news that today it's coming out a, a an article someone did on me for the newspaper and I think it's coming out today let me see if I can do this so I want to use that uh, free marketing oh, this problem over here. I want to use the I'll call it the free marketing or polishing or whatever to get people into the solar energy stuff there you go. as you can see this is how easy it is to connect a BMS of course I'm not done there's some things that you need to do on the BMS but let me go back a little bit perfect Come on, go away. There you go. So BMS. This is basically how it looks. You got your lead positive. You got a bunch of cable coming out of the BMS. This is the BMS. It's not connected yet. And this is how you connect the cables. Let me see if I could get you a better shot. You got your, your main negative over here and when it comes to a BMS you start counting your first positive is the one right next to the negative so this is your main negative your first cable is gonna be connected to the positive side of that cell which means this over here I know it looks on the side but the thing is that I'm using my negatives as a bus bar also and since my negatives are connected to the positives it's just the same thing so now I have my main negative or my lead negative. Thank you, man. Basically, you're going to have negative. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Seven is going to be your lead positive. Now, it looks offset, but it's because, like I said, I'm using my bus bar on my negative side. So basically, it's going to be negative one two three four five six and seven so that's how you connect a bms to a pack with a 7s pack so i think most of you know this but it's a good idea to refresh a little bit so for future reference this whole pack it's a 7s 12p and now we just need to do the lead connections to the battery so let me just get this aside let us focus on this little thingy over here. Let me just focus on it. There you go. Come on. Get away. 
So this is your BMS, and you're gonna have almost every single time you're gonna have a negative C and a negative B. B means your battery, and C sometimes it stands for charger, but also it's connecting. It, it will connect. Uh, you're going to connect it to your charger or to your main device. This is the battery. So this is how the BMS works. They disconnect the negative uh, internally in case of an overcharge or an over discharge. I hope that makes sense because believe me, uh, you might need this in the future. Also, you're going to encounter some BMS that have a negative C, a negative P, and a negative B, which means C for charger, B for battery, and P for the pack or the product that you're going to connect. You kind of just don't have to do that. You can just just C and B, and you'll be good. Uh, I've used that before. The ones that comes on the hoverboard, which is this right here. This hoverboard pack has a BMS. I don't think that you guys. Okay, it's gonna be real difficult to see. Let me try to focus that. Uh, okay. You're going to have your lead cable positive. This is the C. I don't know if you get to see it. And over here, it's the P, which most of the time is for just for your pack. I don't know why they do that, but you could just, you know, forget about it. Don't use it. Just use your C and your B. So in the future, if you happen to come across that situation, you could just go by with the negative C. So anyway. Let's go back to this. This is a BMS. Have a good look to it. It's beautiful. I really like this one. And it's been really good to me. 7S, uh, 7S 20 amps charge and 20 amp discharge. Continuous discharge. Which for a cheapo uh, 7 box, uh, you get a fairly good uh, BMS. Let me read the comments. You should have a million subscribers. You should meet someone from FEMA. <laughs> Dude, FEMA doesn't like people like me. Uh, especially, there's so much powerful people on the island that they do this for a living and they get paid for this. Uh, so anyway. So now we're going to get this thing ready. Let me focus on this. So I'm just going to put some solder on it. Come on. This little thing is so rusted. So basically I'm just going to solder the main leads uh, plates that I have here. So that way when I get my cables they're going to be good and ready for me. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, sorry to disappoint you Victor but you're not the first one who said that uh, but you know the things that I do I, I do it because I love God and Jesus Christ so much that I have to just do it I cannot I cannot just ignore the people that are suffering uh, sorry for the, the the weird angle. I'm trying to have a good close up, but you know. So yeah, it, it, there was this guy that said that I needed to be on the government be, for the things that I've been doing. But I like always, I have to clarify. I don't do this because I'm that that awesome. I do this because someone has to, and because I have to. You know, as a Christian. I cannot just ignore the people that are suffering. So, well, let me take take this aside. This is the cable that I'm using for my positive and negative. I have the same cable on black over here. Thank you, man. Um, this is the main cable that I'm using, and this is the cable. This is gauge ten cable. I thought it was silicon. 
or aluminum, which is what's going to be flexible. It's really good. It's not that stiff. And this type of cable is mostly used on the music industry, like for the car stereo and stuff like that. So it's just 10 gauge cable. So anyway, how, how did I? Okay, let me get this. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to do mostly my negative, which is the, it takes more time to work on it. And I'm gonna cut some, okay. I'm gonna twist it a little bit. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm not gonna cut it from the rest of the pack because I need to measure the distance. So I'm just gonna, Add some solder on it. So if you guys speak Spanish, let me know because today I'm going to, after this, I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'm going to do a live, uh, how do you call that? A live uh, stream talking about how to turn on our fridge using solar energy here in Puerto Rico. It's going to be only in Spanish. If there's someone speaking English on the crowd. Well, I will do my best to answer. But it, like I said, it's going to be mostly on Spanish. Because it's for the people here in my, in my beautiful island. So this is going to be for my pack. So I'm going to attach this to the uh, negative B. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Come on. So let me let me... Come on, don't make me look bad. There's people watching. Uh, maybe if I do this. There you go. That's better. I'm trying to do this in a way that I don't, I don't want to connect it to the main plate. You guys see well over there? I'm trying to focus. Okay. For those of you that are really perfectionist when it comes to soldering, don't look. It's gonna get ugly. I know I'm not going to pull out more than 10 amps from this pack, so it is be just because the amount of cells that I have in Pearl, they're not, let me see if this is okay. But having a BMS that you could do that, especially if this is going to be used for solar, uh, how do you call that, a solar generator. Having a BMS that can handle 20 amps is really good. So by having two of them, I could actually handle 40 amps, which is awesome. So this looks pretty good. Let me just get the battery. Let me go back a little bit. Okay. So now my, my pack is going to be over here. Somewhere around here, I need to measure my main negative, which is going to be over here. Let me just get it for you. So this thing is going to be right here. Right? You guys see it? Let me just bend it a little bit. Today I'm using the, 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 the shrink wrap because yesterday I forgot about it. So I'm just going to measure up my distance all the way down to my, let me get more wire. Okay. Buen provecho. Yeah, Jeremy, they need affordable ideas. Ah. 
Oh, thank you so much, uh, where Sadiq. God bless you. When you see this video, God bless you, man. Okay. So now I'm measuring this up over here. I'm just going to measure this. Regarding the your comment, Jeremy, uh, I know they need affordable ideas. It's just that I don't have the knowledge, the know-how. I'm not right now... Uh, I don't have the paperwork that it's needed. Believe me, it takes a lot of time and paperwork, especially when you're dealing with federal government. This is why I'm. This is why I rely on you guys, and this is why I'm doing the live because that's the only way I'm ranking up on the for the YouTube partnership program. So now, my main cable, my main negative, I'm going to use it. It's going to be connected over there. So now that I, it's already measured up, I'm just going to clip this over here. And before doing the connection to the main, I'm just going to uh, use some heat shrink wrapping on it, which I have a bunch over here. This is another tool that you need, another something that you need. Am I focusing over here? I bought this on eBay, I think, and it's been really good. Uh, you need this in your life. Believe me, you're going to use a bunch of them, especially the big ones. So let me see, let me see. Can I do this? Yeah, this one. So this is what I do. Since I know I'm going to use two of them, I'm just going to clip it on the middle. Right? I'm going to put this over here. And even though it's not going to cover the... I would say that. It's not going to cover the. Uh, it's not gonna cover all the way into the PCB or the board for the BMS, but it's gonna be good enough. You know, you just want to protect as much as possible. So let me get the lighter. Thank you for sounding the horn. Now, almost done. So don't go over anywhere. We are almost done. So that part's done. I'm doing this one right now. And now we're going to put some soldering. Some solder. No, we don't have a Harbor Freight over here. We have Home Depot and that's it. Sorry, that's a very uh, annoying person honking the horn. I guess sometimes I have annoying neighbors. They don't know how to call people on their phones or text, send a text message. There you go. That's ready. Now I'm going to do the connection on this, which is my lead negative connection. So this is where things get a little bit weird and... and, and, and you know, so make sure that I, I have cable the way I want to. Okay. Get this. Okay. You know what? Let me get out the helping hands over here. I just don't want to short something up. <laughs> I've been known to do that quite a lot. So let me just do this. Okay. Do you guys see it? Okay. There you go. But the problem is that the other little one cable is going to go. And it's gonna disconnect itself, which is okay. I'm just gonna grab it right now. 
just gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit and just let me just take this with me come on there you go oh it's hot damn okay I'm just gonna do this like There you go. So I know it's gonna stay there. I'm just gonna use my. There you go. You know what? It would be a better idea if, if I use a bigger uh, shrink. Shrink tubing. Uh, let me let me think about this for a second. I think it's a better idea, right? What do you guys think? It's a better idea to change the this heat heat shrink tubing for a bigger one, so that way. It's, although I think I might be able to get away. Let me just try. If it, if it doesn't work, I just remove it and I'll do it again. But most of the time, all I do is I just come over here. And I'll try to push it inside and yeah it's not gonna work let me just remove this sorry about that little mistake I'm just gonna remove the cables come on come on there you go I'm gonna use a bigger hand shrink tubing so that way we could cover up that piece of nickel tab right there. Let me get this one. So I got this is why I love that little package right there. You have a bunch of them. Now we're ready. Okay. Let me get the helping hands over here. Let's do this again. There you go. I need to use more of this. Sorry, I. I Hey Andy, negative BMS wire throughout the hit shrink too. Yeah, it's gonna go over there. Just let me get. Let me just get over here. There you go. Thank you. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. We are almost done, just in case you're wondering. It's not gonna take five hours this time, guys, I promise. Come on, stick to it. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of solder. There you go. Anyway. Okay, now that we have that, let me just try not to break the cable. There you go.
Hey, man, look how professional do I look, baby? Uh, no. Thank you, neighbor, for the home. Okay. So now that I have that, let me just secure the BMS over here with a little bit of masking tape. Let me go back a little bit. So BMS is going to be here. This little thingy is going to be here. Let me just put a uh, microphone on top of the mask. Okay. Let Two more cable connections and we are done. You know what? Before I do this, let me get the other part of the negative side which basically I need to connect another cable to the BMS and I forgot about that one so I'm trying to move as fast as I can so I don't bore you guys Okay. That's gonna go over here. So let me get the whole pack with me. Okay. The reason I'm not cutting the this negative cable is because um, it's over 25 feet long and well not, not that much but you know I need to then measure it up with the positive which is going to be the next step after we fix this. Okay. Come on, stick to it. So those of you who just got here, we are connecting a BMS to a 7S 12P battery pack, which is going to be used on a solar generator for one of the families in Puerto Rico. Yeah, it is sharp, believe me. Don't worry about that. It's all under Puerto Rican control, which means uh, I'll fix it later. <laughs> so now that I have that, let me get this. Let me get that over here. We need to fit this part of the battery. The other cable is going to be the positive one, which is not... I uh, need it right now, but right now I need to try to assemble. Let me, let me move the camera a little bit. There you go. That's better. That's better, guys. Okay. Come on. Remove the manual focus. There you go. There you go. Let me connect this. So now I really have to be careful with this pack because the whole battery is connected together and we want to make sure that we don't short out anything. So my battery BMS is going to be sitting right there. Um, try 
trying to tighten the cables as much as I can. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm gonna pack this like, like I always do. Like I'm gonna put a bit of bit of tape around it. All I have to do now is connect my lead positive, and then hit shrink uh, this thing over here. So let me move the pack around and let me work on this. We are almost done. I'm gonna connect this to the battery, then connect the X. T60, which is the one that I use for, for the batteries. I'm going to start using the XT90 for other projects. Okay. And don't go because once I'm done, I'm going to mention everything that we did in like in less than five minutes. There you go. And get this whole pack. Okay. I'm trying to bend the cable so everything fits on my table. So now we're going to connect this over here. And with this one, I do have to be careful because this bus bar is not attached to any cells it's just attached to the fuse wire that i use so you know i just have to be really careful with it let me get my helping hands over here i'm also going to use the hit shrink over here so let me, but the problem that I have with this one, the cable is so short that I'm not going to be able to, to just go through it. So I'm just going to hit shrink it next to it. Okay, it's right there. course it's not hot enough let me just by the way guys this little tool right here it was a donation and I just love it it's a uh, temperature control over here right now it's uh, around 400 and it works awesome so if you manage to get one of those uh, I just don't remember which is the company I think it's LG technology something like that it's just awesome Today was up when I was building the pack. I, I remember that one of you said, "Like you use plastic scissors." I was like, "Yeah." Just to let you know, I didn't. I used regular scissors. So my positive is connected, and we are going to we're going to measure up my distance before I start like. So this is where things start to wrap up. So this is your lead negative. And you want to have some sort of distance so you have enough room to move the cable around. So then you can connect the, how do you call that, the XT60 or whatever. Some people might think that you need to have like the same distance. Uh, I had the same conversation with Yehu and you know, you don't have to. So, but anyway, for me, I think I'm going to do this. Uh, it's uh, probably five inches over here. And no, I'm not going to cut, cut them at the same time like I did in a video that no one has seen before. Because it did happen. Don't take my word for it. It's, I actually did that. So 
So I'm just going to do a... Let me get some tape over here because this is going to start moving and I don't want that to happen. Let me just... Let me try to secure a little bit. Oh well, I forgot. Let me let me add the hit shrink. Uh, there you go. Got my hit shrink over here. Good enough. Yeah, it happens. So now what? Okay, let me remove some of the insulation over here. And let me get this cable to stay where it's supposed to. I don't want it to be moving because it's going to break something. And this is four hours of work in this little baby. So now so I'm just going to use this one, which I already have a piece over here. That's to avoid anything on this side. I know you don't get to see it that well, but don't worry. There you go. And now let's work on the XT60, which I have over here. I have a bunch of them. I need to buy more. I, I actually go through this once. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to pre-solder them. Let me get the camera closer. Okay. How's that? For those of you that haven't been here, we are doing a BMS for a 7S 12 speed battery. BMS is already installed, we're just closing up, putting together the XT with the main leads of the battery. <laughs> I just I just forgot that my leads are open and <laughs> I just looked down saying, huh, are they connected? Are you touching? But they're not. So this is where everything start to make sense. Let me just get this right here. This is going to be like this. I'm going to do positive first. Okay. Let me remove some of the stuff over here. And let me get this right here. I'm just bending a little bit the negative so I could lay flat the battery. Just turn it over. If you have questions, don't be afraid to ask. I'm not a, an expert. But I know my stuff. It's out of focus. Is the video good looks for you? It feels out of focus. Get the 
paint shrink I'm gonna use in this one. There you go. There you go. Get in. I'm gonna mute myself one second. Sorry about that. Uh, I had a phone call. I, I didn't want to put you guys in the same conversation with my wife. So anyway, I just did the positive part of the XT60. I'm just finishing up the negative side. Already put the chink, uh, hang shrink on it. And this one, it's kind of tricky. I don't want to short anything. It's going to be like this. So let's see if I could do this. There you go. Uh, I use X HXT connection to join my cell module together. They are horrible to solder, but good that I can easily change as many modules. Okay, that's good. Yeah, they're really good. Um, for some reason, I added too much solder to it. So this is technically the last part of the battery assembly and BMS assembly.
final look everything looks perfect let me just remove it and now it's all about making the battery safe hint shrink this thing by the way if you saw me using this it's because I just connected I touch it it's wet that removes as much heat as possible no man I haven't there are some reasons for that when you're building a battery pack you need to take responsibility you just cannot bring anyone to the project just like that and you need to be responsible for any battery that it's they'll put together and if there's a case of fire or anything like that I'm liable for that life so that's why I don't bring people to the project uh, as to build batteries you know and also because it's a long story I'll, one day I'll, I'll be able to sit down and explain everything to you so now everything is I mean, go over here. Actually, there you go. So there you go, guys. This is how you put together a whole battery pack, a whole BMS to the battery pack. You have a BMS, which is over here. Now I'm gonna like put a bunch of a bunch of tape on it. Make sure the plastic for the cell holder doesn't come apart. And but basically we are done. I'm just looking for my battery tester. It's just over here. Make sure that everything is good and, and, and well done. See that my voltage is coming up. It's uh, showing up. Let me disconnect this thing because I know for sure I'm gonna get. I'm gonna burn myself. That's guarantee. So let me double check my voltage. Just over here. Yep, 28.5 volts on that little baby. And this was your installation of a BMS. Now you get to see my beautiful face. There you go. Focus on me. There you go. There you go. So, there you go, guys. That's how you install a BMS to a 7S 12P battery. It doesn't matter how big your parallel are. Um, of course, you need to take into account the amount of energy you're going to pull out of the battery and all stuff like that. But this is just for solar generator, which is mostly going to be used for... I don't know turn on a fridge I already have another pack which I'm gonna get it for you guys just to show up that is the pack that I put together yesterday right here this is uh, my last video is five hours long you don't have to watch the whole five hours if you do I'll be happy but you can just skip forward and I put together this pack like step by step by step by step by step all the way up to the last finishing touch today you just got to see takes row my name is Den hey Dennis God bless you today you just got to see the BMS part and now what I do mostly I just I'll put a lot of tape on it make sure the cable stays together uh, which is a good question. Do you guys want to see that or should I just cut the video right here? Let me know before I continue. So yeah, that's how you put together a BMS. So to recap on what we did, uh, it is super hot and sweaty over here. Let me just, when you're doing a BMS, you're going to have, depending on the size of the BMS, you're going to have your lead negative, which is the black cable that I have over here. And you're going to have your lid positive, which is the red cable over here. It just means that's your main negative and your main positive. The little cables in between 
they start counting right next to the main negative, which is one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to the series that you're doing. So when you see on a BMS that says one, on the cable next to it, it's exactly the first positive, which is the positive side of the main negative, which is, it's, it's kind of difficult to understand sometimes, but you know, it is what it is. So there you go, guys. That's how you put together BMS. I believe me, I try to make this video in less than half an hour, but that's how much time probably it would take you to put together one of this little baby. So all I have to do is I'm going to wrap up this thing and you know what? I'm just going to do it in front of you. So, so that way you get a better idea of what I do. This is just to make sure that nothing falls out and everything stay good and, and tight. Doesn't help the tax or anything. It's just for security, you know. Let me put this around. And this is a little bit so you get to see what I'm doing oh uh, let me change the bat I'm actually you know what I'm out my battery is flashing it means that I have to go so anyway God bless you guys 7s BMS hope you guys like it God bless you I'll see you later and to the people that speak Spanish nos vemos como en dos o tres horita okay God bless you guys Please like, please share, and please subscribe. Bye.